Uh, my new body of work deals with the idea of the divinity of the machine and how it has taken somewhat of a religious importance in human existence, as well as the seductive nature of symbols, nationalism, empires, colonialism, that sort of thing. All of my pieces uh, take place sort of generally within the same time period. The Industrial Revolution, which was this um, high point of human evolution to a certain extent. Um, machines had just sort of been developed and they were seen, seen to be very beautiful and amazing and there was no real downside of them yet uh, up until the First World War which kind of shattered those dreams. In this period there was also a, a, a time of great empires, the, the British Empire, the French Empire, the German Empire, the Russian Empire, and they were going through the Industrial Revolution at the same time, really changing and evolving, and World War I also destroyed all of those empires, it broke down. Even the winners of the war were, were broken by the British and the French, and the Russians were all broken. So it's kind of, it has to do with this high water mark that has kind of subsided, and is and kind of gone for good, and also, we lost that, the innocence of the machine and the fact that it was beautiful and pure at the time and then we saw the, the negative aspect and how it really ha has a dark side as well. Once I know what I'm going to do, I start preparing the paper. Uh, I spend usually a couple of days, get the paper completely wet and then I get, put the inks on it and I move it around, let it dry and do many, many layers until I have it. And usually I've got stacks of unused paper because I'll, I'll go through this whole process and I'll, I'll, I won't like it and I'll throw it out and I'll do it again and I won't like it and I'll throw it out. And then once I get the colors on there that I want and the way it's set, the way it looks so I, I have it exactly how I want it to look, I'll start in with the pencil and then I'll go over the pencil with a light layer of ink and then I'll paint the whole inside of the content with the colored inks that I want and then I'll go back over and, and just, draw, just draw it all out with very fine detail and I use, a, I use really nice Japanese inks that don't bleed and they're very nice to paint with and then um, I use a calligraphy pen, like an old dip pen to, to draw it out, which I don't know if there's any real like advantage to using the calligraphy pen. I think it's more just, it makes me, it kind of keeps me in touch with this sort of period. All of our food comes from mechanized agriculture. All of our water gets pumped to us through sewer systems. Uh, all of our electricity, heat, power, everything is pretty much entirely provided to us by industry. And in that way, we could not survive without it. So it, it really gives us life. But on the same, on the other hand, it also takes it away through wars, especially with World War I. It was the first time it was really seen of mass industrialized warfare, explosives, machine guns, tanks, really changed the world. Uh, but in a larger scale, it's also destroying the planet we live on. Through global warming and pollution, it could very well be what kills us at the same time. So it gives us life, and it's eventually going to take it away from us.